Okay, welcome to the lab. This is Mr. V. And today, we want to find out how does light interact with water that has been dyed compared to clear water. We have clear water here, we have dyed water here. And so what we want to know is, does the water, I mean the light, interact with the water the same exact way? Okay, so first we want to predict. If we leave these under a lamp and we record their temperature, which one of their temperatures will rise more? The dyed water or the clear water? Go ahead and make a prediction now. Hope you made your predictions out there. Okay, now let's think about this. If we want to test what happens to the light as it interacts with the water, what's going to happen? Any ideas? Ah, yes, it could be reflected. So we want to measure the amount of reflected light coming from both our clear water and our dyed water. Okay, what else might happen? Nice one, Jimmy. It could be transmitted also. So we want to test the transmitted light that could be coming from the clear and the dyed water. And like we said, we also want to know the temperature change between the dyed water and the cleared water. So we are going to measure our initial temperature and our final temperature to record some data to test how this light interacts with these two types of water. Get ready. Okay, that data table's looking good. You're doing awesome. Now, let's take initial temperatures for our clear and our dyed water to see how hot they are before the light strikes them. Okay, so we have 19 degrees Celsius for our clear water. Very good. And we also have 19 degrees Celsius for our dyed water. That's awesome. We have the same initial temperature brought to you by our Taylor temperature gauges. Good for measuring temperatures. Okay, now that that temperature is recorded, let's take a look at what the light is doing as it either reflects or transmits through our clear and our dyed water. So we're gonna test first the reflected light. So I'm gonna take my light sensor and I'm gonna place it over top of my object, which is the water, and I want to measure the amount of lux of light coming off of the water as I do this. So very carefully I'm taking this measurement and what I'm getting is a reading of 245 lux of light being reflected off of the clear water. Now, if we think about this, what would we expect to happen with the dyed water? Well, let's find out. So I place this over. Hmm. I know you're all dying to see the results of the dyed water. And it comes out to a measurement of 175 lux of light being reflected off of the dyed water. Interesting. And we're back. And now we want to find out how much light is being transmitted. Remember, transmitted means going through the object. So as I test this, I see that there is, whoa, the numbers are off the charts. Hang on. Just slow down. Okay, there is 1,790. That's a big number, folks. Lux of light being transmitted through our clear water. And there is, womp, 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 only 120 lux of light being transmitted through our dyed water. Interesting. Wow, that 20 minutes really took a long time. Let's go back and let's test our results for our final temperature. I know you've been waiting for this. It's the moment we've been waiting for. So according to my temperature gauge by Taylor, our clear water is now at 28 degrees Celsius. Wow, warmed up a bit, warmed up a bit. And our dyed water, woo. 41 degrees Celsius. Wow, stay out of the kitchen, guys. This is hot. 
Okay, so one final look at our final data here, finally. And these are our results. Let's talk about them. 